गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन हेलो हेलो गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन आई एम फाइन यस सो अ वॉम वेलकम ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ टीम इट्स ओके टू एवरीवन प्रेजेंट हियर टुडे इज गेस्ट रिक्वायर्स नो इंट्रोडक्शन वी हैव विद अस मिस्टर अरविंद के पी he is a professional motor racer with 17 national championship one international championship and one of the only two indians to have completed the dakar rally successfully he was also awarded the best sports person of the year in 2019 by the fmsci recently he was a part of the national record by mahindra xuv 700 24 hour endurance challenge he is also acted in a movie and was the runner up of canada colors big boss season 8 we welcome you again mr arvind thank you so much the great you. honor to have you, you on our platform <laughs> so you have so much of an achievement hey, <laughs> yes thank you sir. thank you so much thank you um coming from a small town to have attaining international fame you have made all of us proud and you really inspire all of us thank you this so inspiration this is really happy you know <laughs> inspiration is very important you know you to try new possibilities go beyond our uh, capabilities and you know limitations and achieve goals in our life exactly so what really inspired you to take up this profession see like you know uh, so everybody who's watching uh, here uh, me i and uh, jyoti were classmates so you know through my formative years yes. <laughs> uh, i was always i was always like an adventurous uh, spirit i can say so i was always looking for something which is which is not uh, conventional and different and yes. which, which always made me feel a little alive uh, so you know and uh, uh, and it so happened that uh, those were the days when espn was new to us right So yes correct so I would watch yeah. all of these races and uh, I I would uh, see this uh, athletes jump through obstacles and mm. you know get to the finish mm. line and you know the whole stadium is uh, clap cheering for them and they wanted a piece of them cheering. and all of that so that kind yes, of made yes. me feel uh, uh, how powerful that individual should be to make correct. about 30 to 40000 people you know stand on their feet and you know uh, applaud to his performance yes so that kind of yes. uh, Uh, that kind of inspired me to do something you know where people really look up to me and you know uh, where i can probably make people stand for 10 minutes or 15 minutes and just watch me so okay that that all yeah. kind of started and uh, yes. yeah like i said adventurous uh, spirit so adventurous. always looking for something new that's great So, uh, Arvin. So then, uh, how did you convince your family to uh, allow you to pursue this dream, which is an extreme sport, which involves a lot of risk? Uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, initially, what happened was uh, my parents were unaware that I was racing. You know, so okay. until my huh. name and uh, picture with with the with the bike and uh, this, the <laughs> particular specifications of the races came on the paper, my parents didn't really okay. know that uh, didn't really okay. knew that I was racing. and uh, okay. initially it was a little difficult for me to you know coming from a conservative uh, family Correct. and a small town yes. from uh, like udupi you know udupi. people don't yes. really have this uh, um, how can i say this prospective of life where you know you you go uh, out of your comfort zone and do something which which people have never tried and where yes. there is no certainty in life right so yes. yes so it was a little difficult initially but then until and unless i was healthy they had no problem at all but then what happened was yes. like when i would get hurt then my parents were a little you know hesitant as to me continuing with yes. it because i had already had backed a few championships here and there and all of that but yes. uh, mm -hmm. you know, through the course i think uh, you know my parents also uh, understood that this is what i wanted to do and this is what i love to do and this is what yes. uh, would keep me alive and uh, nothing else and you know so you parents, followed I your think, passion yes yeah patience yes, is a virtue right so you got to yeah, be patient and, and yes. try and push your luck patient and you you followed your passion i said passion oh, yeah, yeah passion yeah passion for for sure because you know uh, yes. uh, i think just because of passion uh, is what the main driving fact 
factor here. Yes, definitely. Right? Yes. So otherwise, yes, otherwise, I agree with you. Want, wouldn't want to wake up yes. early in the morning, go to the gym, or hit the swimming pool, or uh, you know, go through so much pain and uh, sacrifice and all of that to pursue something that uh, people don't really uh, have an idea about, right? Yes, correct. So it requires a lot of discipline and practice, and I see it in your post. So recently, I saw a post. Uh, which says if you ain't uh, uh, falling, then you ain't trying. trying I yeah. saw a post, exactly. and uh, I'm sure you have seen a lot of failures along with success yes. in your life. Definitely. So, uh, how do you manage? How do you how do you manage your success and cope with your failure? See, failure is the stepping stone to success, right? Nobody sees yes. success right away. So, people who yes. who endure failures and start uh, start to fail better and better is the ones who reach success. So okay. you know, like yes. I said, failure comes first and success comes later. The only thing that yes. you have to do is, if you're passionate enough and if you know and if you want it so bad, is to pursue mm -hmm. it and with mm -hmm. persistence and consistency that you will definitely, mm -hmm. you know, probably not succeed but fail better than the previous time. So which which mm -hmm. is actually mm -hmm. getting you closer to the success. So correct, you know, correct. it definitely mm -hmm. it's an emotional roller coaster. You know, when when there is success, you definitely feel really high, and uh, you know, you you feel yes, like you are correct. invincible. You are invincible. Yeah, correct. But then, when when your mm -hmm. failures shouldn't make you feel that it's the end of the world, it should humble you. Yeah. And yes. you should correct. start introspecting, uh, saying, "What did I do wrong?" So I can mm -hmm. fail better or win next time. Yes. So, so, so here, here is a message to the audience: Do not just give up because you're failing. Yeah, definitely. So, so see, for an example, if an on an ECG uh, uh, monitor, if you yeah. see the ECG line going blank, then it blank. means the person is dead, right? Yes. Yes. So the, if the yeah. ECG is going up and down, means the the person is alive. Alive. So if, yes. if you don't have ups and downs in your life, it means that you're dead. Yeah, that's a very good point, Arvind, that you made. And uh, really, we all have to, you know, uh, balance both success and failures in life. Face exactly. equally, you know, both yes. equally. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yes. See, especially the youth. What, what, uh, what I used to do is, I used to yes. use my success to to hmm. create momentum and failures hmm. to create conviction. Oh, wonderful. Yes, correct. So, so what I normally would do is I wouldn't be flattered mm. with my success, but then I would know yes. I, I would always mm. anticipate if what if something goes yes. wrong, then that I've calculated. So I I am. Uh, mm. it, it's you know it's inevitable that you 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 see only uh, success or failures, right? Yes, correct. So there would, is so much go, that goes beyond uh, behind the stage. You know, ninety nine percent, and it's only one percent that we all see. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, yes. you know, people say, oh, on the weekend, you just went and uh, rode for a weekend, won and came back. But then for that weekend to be won, yes. I would have you would trained have a million weekends, yeah. you know. So, yes. Yes. so yes. that's how, like you said, uh, what, what uh, work happens behind is what will, yes. uh, you know, cultivate uh, to be the success mantra. Correct, correct. <laughs> that's a success mantra. Let's keep trying. And let yes. not success dis uh, uh, failures disappoint you. So yes. my next question is now: um, uh, this motor racing requires a lot of skill, you know, competitive uh, nature, and a lot of physical and mental power. So how do you prepare yes. yourself for this sport? See, uh, to be honest, uh, I was fortunate to have uh, uh, grown in a family where I was uh, blessed with a lot of skills and all of that, but. Other than that, mm -hmm. uh, like you know, uh, through my formative years, I've been involved with a lot of athletics and games and so yes, on. Yes, yes. So I've seen you in school, Arun. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So that kind of helped me. Uh, yeah. You know, that you know earlier when I was a younger kid, I did not know that this would uh, help me multifolds in my future. But then it really did. Only after I got yeah. to a place where I was thinking as to what did I do differently than others, which got me here so fast. I yes, couldn't really correct. figure out yeah. how it was, but then when I, mm. uh, after a, uh, after a certain point of maturity, is when I understood that in my school and in my formative years, is what that I've done is kind of giving me the benefits of all the stuff that I've done then. So correct. Uh, correct. That yes. kind that that kind of discipline being throughout my life, you know, uh, that kind of helped in a major major way. 
but then other than that there is a lot of discipline mm. there is a lot of practice there is a lot of patience there is a lot of sacrifice everything involved yes. here uh, yes. you know uh, preparing for a races like this is uh, a minimum of 3 days in a gym a uh, minimum of 200 okay. kilometers of cycling a week and uh, four okay. or five days uh, training on the bike and uh, oh. depending on okay. yeah it, it's hectic you know mm. so yes. what yes. what what we normally do is not just practice so it's a way of life uh, you know it's yes. not just that uh, for a race you prepare like this and then you win and then you know, you know it kind of continues no it doesn't happen that way if, this happen. is a, this is a way of living so you got yeah, to make up it's a discipline that you follow throughout exactly. yes correct exactly yeah. exactly okay so who has been your biggest motivation and support in your life arvind uh, initial motivation and support i think uh, definitely my parents you know there is okay. a lot that i've learned from them there is a lot of inspiration that mm-hmm. i take from them as well um, mm-hmm. and other, uh, you know i think you need to be blessed with parents like that so the initial okay. initial part is that and then after that uh, when i got into the sport there is uh, there, there is a person called uh, ricky carmichael and james stewart baba and all of that they are from america okay. so they used okay. to be the best mm-hmm. in the in the sport so you know what we would do is go practice come back home put put the cds or mm-hmm. videos on uh, and watch mm-hmm. them over and over and over watch again them. and try to mm-hmm. uh, try to uh, imitate them in the next practice session so you know Correct. those were those were my idols and the, we were inspired by them for sure and uh, you are inspiring the youth now you are idols of the many <laughs> yeah, i've been uh, honored i've been honored so now this is a fun question to you so yes, what yes. was uh, if, you, if you were not a motor racer what other alternative career would you choose i can't even imagine what i would be doing yeah? but, uh, <laughs> i would be the okay. ends other than uh, what i'm doing right now uh, you know okay. I, I, i've never got the chance to think what i would do also so i don't really know okay. but uh, okay. like you know i think you know I, yes i'm academically strong as well so i would be doing something uh, with uh, in regards to business or something like that i guess okay okay so we'll just hold on for one second arvind we have our uh, uh, founder with us yes joining us yes, yes. and uh, also one of our team members Super. Joining. Super. Yes. Yes. Hello, yes. man. Hi, Arvind. Hi, hi. Uh, so, so happy to see you, and we are really greatly privileged to have you here, Arvind. It is uh, one of the most happiest moments for it's okay support dot com. And uh, uh, like now, it is uh, really a uh, very, very happy uh, moment for us. Uh, and uh, i'm really grateful to you and on behalf of my entire team of uh, it's okay support where we are uh, uh, trying to uh, create a society free from uh, mental um, challenges what uh, physically fit and emotionally fit and intellectually sharp and spiritually pure that this is the society we are expecting and our journey towards it this has started almost uh, two years ago and we are celebrating um, the second anniversary of uh, it's okay support.com in a few i mean couple of months and today i feel this is our second anniversary with you in our flat platform um, arvin it's a great great uh, like no moment for us and uh, yes so um, arvin this uh, question i wanted to ask with you you are uh, a youth icon and what message you have to the youth of today uh, who for mental wellness and also for physical fitness firstly it's a pleasure uh, being here on your platform and being able to you know uh, support in uh, my capacity for all the good things that you do and uh, happy anniversary for uh, to to the whole team uh, i think you guys Thank are doing you. a great great job uh, and uh, please continue doing this and uh, like i said earlier i would definitely go out of my way and uh, help you out in my capacity whenever time permits i am i will be uh, surely there for you uh, and coming back to your question now um, the youth i think you know normally what happens is uh, when when we are younger we have uh, a lot of clustered thoughts 
so the first thing that uh, the superpower that you have to have in you is clarity of thoughts the yes. cognitive distortion is the biggest problem it happens to me yes. as well i'm sure it happens with you also the yes. Yes. distortion is nothing but uh, yeah. you know irrelevant uh, uh, thought process and irrelevant questions rising all the time then things are yes. uh, not really so complicated yes so what Correct. normally happens is we we are uh spending most of our time worrying so- about something which will probably never happen right in this in the process yes, yes. kind of giving up on the great times that we can live so Correct. i think uh, clarity of thoughts is uh, the first thing that people should uh, the young uh, especially the young ones should really really uh, you know find uh, their ways to get to uh because after that i think uh, everything that you do and everything that you uh, want to do also starts getting easier because then you know the uh, the probable action to a probable uh, uh, out, uh, in output right so when you know what yes. to do is going uh, uh, going to bring you something uh, which is which is going to be sure then i think you know all this uh, clustering and all this doubts that uh, that are in your head is kind of uh, yes. reduces and you have more and more in cl- uh, clarity and conviction also without any fear yes so correct normally yes. what happens is i think i believe there are three kinds of people especially when they are young some uh, believe that they can do it, do it some wish yes. they can do it some yes. actually make it happen right so so see some might there are right you know there are some some who are uh, believing it to happen some who are uh, wishing it to happen and some who are making it happen if you are not belonging to uh, either of these then you will have to find uh, uh, and be around people who are an inter- intersection of all all of these three people right so right. this yes. there is there is no other formula towards uh, which can beat conviction um, and uh, you know uh, execution yes so uh, so what happens is when you have the right kind of people what i mean to uh, say is when you are around the right kind of people life itself uh, kind of gets uh, uh, gets easier it kind of teaches Correct. you the best way to uh, solve a problem uh, for an example i was in a um, reality show so mm-hmm. if there was one problem that this yeah. is when i kind of uh, started thinking in that uh, aspect as well so if there are, mm-hmm. there is one problem given to a whole class of students there are yes. if, if the class holds 50 students there are 50 mm-hmm. different kinds of uh, uh, solutions, solutions for one single problem yes correct so yeah. you know when you are exposed to 50 kind of stuff then you can probably choose the one which you can make it happen yes. for you which is easy yes. and which is which you can inculcate and better your life in the due process so correct and and it is very true yeah mm. and mostly the kids nowadays are like we just spoke emotional seesaw sometimes when when things are going great they are uh, they yeah. feel invincible and when things don't go as per they wanted then they are they feel really low so like yeah. i said earlier you got to uh, you know harness your emotions Uh, yes. you know convert it into uh, conviction oh, sorry uh, yes. honest emotion and yeah channel your thoughts yes yeah, channel the right direction and, exactly exactly so everything starts when you start thinking straight yes yes so, so that is a very important point that you made there is yes yes ma'am go ahead there yes, is a lot of uh, uh, it shows the experience uh, of your life uh, dear arvin Uh, because uh, nobody can uh, talk with so much of conviction like no this is you are a success formula i feel i can see the hard work and the sincerity of the purpose and purity of heart in your thoughts and deeds we are indeed grateful to you arvin that uh, you are motivating so many youngsters and keep motivating and i'm sure we can expect a um, better um, india i i yes yes that's what i will tell yes thank you yes ma'am. he's uh, been inspiring like the youth yes <laughs> and uh, you're the a true uh, real youth icon <laughs> and uh, you can also say dhoni of our uh, urpi <laughs> <laughs> you guys are flattering me <laughs>
Yes. And definitely no, no, we, we have to true. mention uh, we are true to our hearts are in. Yes, and we have to mention Kadiyali definitely. Yes, you yeah. belong to the place called Kadiyali Nurti. Yes. 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 Uh, We're very proud yeah, of been, you, Arvind. Yes. I've been blessed uh, yes. by Kadiyali Maisha Mardini. You know. So yes. At, yes. My house is very, very, very close. I can stumble into the temple and. most of my childhood i used to cycle around uh, the temple and you know we used to go into the uh, uh, and swim and all of that in the temple itself so that's yeah. where i kind of uh, grew up and yes, uh, yes. indrali was my first trust ali ke for my pu and uh, hmm. saint aloysius for my degree yes so thank you Ivan, once again from uh, team, it's okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Very happy. Uh, thank you. Thank you, you for hosting platform. me firstly. Thank you for hosting me firstly. And I yes. think, like I said earlier, you guys are doing a great, great job. Uh, keep inspiring, and uh, you know, not everybody uh, can have the clarity or the um, how can I say uh, or uh, the will to get uh, you know get the younger generation uh, going in a great way. so i think you guys are uh, doing a great great job i'm i'm really uh, proud of you all uh, keep thank continuing you. to do this and uh, i wish you and, all the luck yes uh, and arvind we have one more team yes. member uh, miss uh, shija she is uh, uh, from our team hi yes. arvind so i i was just going through the comments and everything like it is like you are you have been called a youth icon you are like a like kp kp is that the <laughs> notion is going on in our live telecast so that is what i think that like this is really great like thank you blessed, thank I've you for blessed, being you know, in the I've blessed with the <laughs> i've been blessed with great followers great fans and uh, you know uh, it's it's uh, how can i say i i how much ever i thank them or uh, how much ever i uh, want to thank them it's not enough because uh, you know the, i think they are the ones who are uh, uh, you know making my life uh, much more colorful and uh, yes. meaningful now. yeah yes do you want to give a special message arvind to the fans and all of us uh, uh, watching you live on uh, you know keeping oneself fit is very important to keep oneself physically and mentally fit yes uh, keeping yourself physically fit uh, kind of makes half of your mental fitness uh, Uh, you know uh, half of the job that you got to do your mental fitness yes. gone so if you, if you are if you are physically doing great i think uh, your talk process your breathing everything kind of changes which which starts giving you yes. good uh, good thoughts and uh, you know good yes. feelings yes. so yes. Uh, physical fitness is uh, i i believe uh, physical fitness is the most primary uh, thing that you can uh, do uh see fitness is the only physical fitness is the only place where you don't really have to spend a pie and even if you do so it is going to be investing on yourself nothing yes, is correct. better in this whole world than investing yeah. in any something on yourself so beautiful point that you made arvind <laughs> yes investing on 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 yourself is uh, uh 100% results right result oriented So yes, if definitely. I invest on somebody else, then I am doubtful as to my investment is going to come back to me or not. But then correct, if I invest correct. on myself, it is for sure that I know it is going to come sure. back to me. Yeah. So I think yeah, everybody, uh, especially when they when they are uh, younger, is when they have to start a uh, uh, active lifestyle. So when they start yes. gro growing old, it is it is not something that they have to do uh, under mm -hmm. force or uh, you know. Yes. By, by it should it should become a habit right exactly. from so yes. it should happen so that like walking you don't think or yes. think to walk right yes yes so if Correct. you have to go somewhere yes. you do you think to walk you don't it just happens no. so yes. this also has to be like that so you wake up you you sit for 10 minutes you you probably meditate or you know do some breathing exercises and spend an hour in the gym or spend an hour at a home you, i mean you, you don't really need to go to we can gym. also do yoga yes yes, yes. You, yeah. there are a lot of other forms uh, for fitness fitness Correct. is not just yes. uh, pushing weights or you know swimming or like you said there is yoga yes. there is uh, there is meditation that you can do there are uh, there are so many other ways to do like uh, yes. you know plyometrics and you know uh, body weight training um, calisthenics there are, there are so many yes yes, yes. yes. so Correct. you know, see uh, i mean you know they should probably see what suits them and what they can do even if they are on the go and they should inculcate this in their life yes thank you thank you once again yes <laughs> so yes thank you 
Arvind, once again. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so much. much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Have a great weekend. Bye. You too. You too. Yes. You all too. Bye. Keep continuing the good work. God Wish bless. you all the best. Definitely. Definitely. Best. Definitely. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.